thought I'd do a just a quick run through on the transmit antenna here for 160 meters at V6WZ at the remote. Uh, the tower is shunt fed and uh, the shunt arm it's hard to see we have some sun here right now but is the uh, on the second section from the top of the tower shunt wire is approximately uh, approximately four feet away from the tower that's where I got the best match and the matching circuitry is found in the box here at the base of the tower it's a standard gamma match and you'll notice I also have some vacuum relays uh, three of them and those uh, vacuum relays will select some ceramic doorknobs which can be um, uh, included into the gamma match capacitor to move the operating frequency so that I cover the full uh, 160 meter band. There's also a uh, uh, single pole double throw relay here which uh, is toggled in when I'm on receive and then it goes along through a tuning capacitor here which is then grounded to the lower section, the bottom of the section and then that, it, there's also a relay box part way up if you'll see it on that, lot, that bottom arm. And in that relay box during receive, that then uh, opens up and makes a closed loop on this bottom section. And that bottom section is tuned for maximum current. And uh, that uh, basically detunes the tower and provides for uh, uh, eliminating or otherwise minimizing any uh, detuning effect on my receive arrays. The tower is grounded into a radial system. There's 100 radials extending out to the perimeter of the fence and you can see I have a two inch strap grounding the the uh, perimeter uh, copper tubing on, onto which are um, soldered each of the individual radio wires. Radio wires are all buried under the uh, gravel bed not far they're only about th two or three inches or not even that about two inches below. I've also tied in the fence and what I mean by that is on every galvanized steel fence post I've uh, attached a, a galvanized steel screw and I've since painted it and a copper wire which goes around to every single post on the uh, on the fence and every radial has been soldered onto this uh, perimeter wire so as a result the entire galvanized steel fence becomes part of the radial system and also though you can't see it here I've uh, on the other side of every post I've driven a steel a uh, galvanized uh, self-tapping screw through each of the caps and the mounts into the post to eliminate any kind of uh, galvanic uh, poor connection so as a result the entire uh, galvanized steel fence has uh, as I said become part of the radial system the mesh of the uh, fence is not galvanized it's vinyl coated and I did that purposely to uh, to avoid any potential for galvanic uh, diode rectification effects if uh, with with poor connection over the years so that I'm not worried about the uh, vinyl coating mesh uh, providing any uh, rectification problems and so far I've uh, I've not had a problem so basically that's the transmit antenna here it's basically right at the crest of the hill and it's uh, basically a 90 foot shunt fed tower with the 80 meter Yagi on top and about a 100 foot square um, ground radial system buried.